In today's Great Lakes treasure hunting series, we will travel to the small town of Ashtabula, located in northeast Ohio, 54 miles east of Cleveland. But before we travel to the heart of the city, I want to take you all to Walnut Beach. When traveling to this beach, it's hard to imagine you are still in Ohio. Picturesque views and the sound of seagulls will make you truly appreciate Lake Erie and its surroundings. This location offers a concession stand, playground for children, boardwalk path leading to the beach, similar to the one showcased in our Conneaut, Ohio episode, nature trails, as well as smaller sand dunes. Several wetlands also exist in this region, with other hiking trails to discover for adventurers. The extensive break wall protects the shore from rapid erosion and serves as a unique fishing hub to catch fresh Lake Erie perch and walleye. You may also find fossils, beach glass, and adgets along the shoreline if you look closely. This destination has become a popular spot for collecting such items by locals. It's best to go rock hounding after a rough thunderstorm if you are searching for these gems, because the waters churn up the bottom of the lake exposing these items to be collected. During the summertime months, water temperatures can reach an upwards of 80 degrees Fahrenheit and the beaches can become quite crowded. I have been coming to this beach with my parents for several years and each time I arrive I feel like I discover something new here. Another benefit of Walnut Beach is that it's a much wider beach, therefore you can space out your towels and umbrellas far from one another. The shoreline also extends over a mile, so there's plenty to explore if you are into long walks on the beach. Overall, you should definitely check out this location if you are nearby, because who doesn't love a day at the beach? Continuing with our tour of Ashtabula, we begin on the famous Bridge Street in the heart of downtown. Various restaurants, coffee shops, and breweries can be found in this quaint town, which lies along Lake Erie's waters. This town has always been an industrial center of America due to its location along the Ashtabula River. The region is rich with iron ore, coal, and other minerals, including various saline-based veins that lie deep below the ground, which is why the Morton Salt Plant is located along the waterfront. Large glaciers shaped this landscape thousands of years ago, and the effects of these events are still prevalent today. Other shipping industries in Ashtabula transport these materials over the lake via large ships or railways. Historically, the town was crucial for delivering materials to other parts of the United States as well as Canada. When entering the city, you will notice a beautifully constructed drawbridge which has become iconic with the city. It serves as both an entrance and exit for ships entering the harbor. The Ashtabula Marina is another unique nearby spot to capture photos of some fine local vessels. Another popular location is the Underground Railway Home, located within the municipality. Although the city may seem small from the air, there is a lot to see on the ground, which is why I recommend making a trip to this peaceful town. For those of you into collecting beach glass, Ashtabula hosts an annual beach glass festival every year, which attracts tourists from all over the region. Although I have never made it to the festival personally, I plan on attending in the near future. The heart of downtown extends for just a few city blocks, but there is a lot to discover within this small area. You may notice these beautiful brick buildings, which are still standing after many decades and are in great condition. This city is a great halfway point to Cleveland and to Erie, Pennsylvania, which are two future destinations I hope to showcase in this Great Lakes treasure hunting series. In conclusion, I hope you all enjoyed this brief episode displaying a very nostalgic location for me that my family and I have been traveling to for several years. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for our next travel destination.